Hello kids, hope you all are doing very good and you all are enjoying your studies from your all videos. So in previous classes we have learned what are the different structures, what are the different shapes in geometry. So in that what we have learned that what is a closed figure, what is a open figure, what are different plan segments called like array, like a line why they are called as the line, why they are called as the array and what is the point, a dot, why that is called a dot, so why it is called like that. Now, today we are going to learn some more in detail, like today we will learn about the circle and the terms used in circles. So, before going to start this chapter, just quickly like and subscribe your own channel so that you can't miss a single video. So let's start. So see, first of all, what we will see that look at here. What is this? It's a bangle. Now what is this? This is a cap. Yes, but see the structure of this cap. How oh, it's a totally round shape. This is what circle shape. Yes. Now see this bangle. So how it's a? It's also a circle shape. Now see, we have to draw a circle. So what we will do, we are using this bang. Yes, so I have made this circle. So what is this? This is a circle. Yes, this is called what? Circle. Now see, do you know which shape it's? It's a cloth shape. Why it's called as cloth shape? Because a circle starts from a point and it ends at the same point. That's why it's called a cloth shape. In previous classes, we have learned this closed and open shape. You can refer those videos also. Now see, what are the different terms come in a circle? So, just I will put a dot here. Okay. C. So, this C, where I put this dot in the mid of this circle. Where it is? It is in the mid of the circle. So, that means what? Mid of the circle means what? I put this dot in the center. So, this is called what? Center. This dot is called what? Which in the mid of the circle is called what? It's called center. Okay, it's called what? Center. Now, let's draw one more circle. Okay, we will uh, draw one more circle here. Okay, now see, you know that it's a center, it's called a center. Now, we will draw what? A small line segment. We have drawn what? A small line segment. Now, what is this called? A line segment drawn from a center to its end of the circle or the periphery, whatever you can say. So that is called what? It's called as the radius. It's called what? It's called as radius, which is denoted by R. Which is denoted by R. Now see here. Here is the point. This is called what? Center. Yes. Now I am drawing a line like this. I am drawing one more line like this. Okay. So see. Here two points. Yes. So this is called what? This line segment is called what? This is called what? A chord. This is called what? A chord. Now, why it is called as a chord? What is a chord? So, a chord is which joins any two points. A line segment, a line segment, yes, which joins any two points, any two points in a circle. In a circle, it's called what? It's called 
a cord it's called what it's called cord yes so see here it's joining any two point it's here to here two point yes and here to here any two point it's joining so this is called what this is called a cord now see one more circle we will draw here okay one more circle we are drawing here now see here again we are putting what this dot this dot now you understand that this is called what a center yes this is called a center now see i am drawing the line like this like this see like this okay so this is called what this is called what this is called a diameter diameter so why this is called a diameter this line segment is called a diameter so why it's called diameter see it's also joining two points yes it's also joining two points as a chord so this is called a chord and this is called a diameter so why it's called a diameter because this line segment is going through the center of the circle so when a line segment joint any two point in a circle it's going passing through that center is called what it's called a diameter it's called what it's called a diameter okay it's going through where see again in next picture i'm showing you so here is the center yes center and its line is going through see here to here so this is called what this is called a diameter it's called what diameter got it now this is called a diameter so why because it's passing through the center now in a circle as many as it can be a diameter number of diameter can be anything okay but the all diameter have the same length the length of a diameter in a circle will be same like here you see the length of a radius will be always what same the length of the radius will be always same and the number of the radius may be more okay it may be 1 2 3 4 or 19 or whatever just like in diameter also the number of diameter may be anything maybe 4 5 6 or maybe 10 20 100 whatever but all the diameters will have the same length here all the radius will have what the same length now see what we will do that now can you see here see the radius is coming from this center to this periphery yes so it's what it's a half it's a half of the circle okay it's half of the circle but see here in diameter what it's going to here center and then again it's going to the periphery so what a diameter is the double of the radius see the radius is only up to here and the diameter is going more up to here so it's what radius is what diameter is what double to the radius so what we can write about the formula what is the formula for diameter so d equal to what 2 into r d equal to what 2 into r so for example if the radius size is 5 centimeter if the radius if the radius r equal to 5 centimeter so what will be the then d equal to what then d equal to what now what you will do you have to find out so how you will find out you will do r equal to 5 centimeters so d equal to what so d equal to what is the formula 2 into r means r is 5 so what we will do equal to 2 into 5 equal to what 10 centimeter so d equal to what 10 centimeter okay now we will do some more questions like if if the r equal to if r equal to 3 now d equal to what now so you know r equal to 3 yes r equal to 3 so 
what is diameter diameter is c double of the radius radius till here and it's double so again what we will do what is the formula of diameter 2 into r now see here so d equal to 2 into 3 because r equal to 3 equal to what 6 centimeter so it's again become what double now see if you have diameter equal to 10 for example if you have diameter equal to 10 then what you will do if d equal to 10 centimeter then r equal to what do you know that what is the formula for that so see r equal to d by 2 so what we will do or r equal to d how much it's a 10 10 by 2 yes so 2 and 2 2 5 to 10 so it's a 5 centimeter it's a answer hope children you uh, enjoy this session it's very easy and inter interesting uh, for uh, the detailed version you can refer to the previous videos also and here I hope that you understand that how you can calculate radius and the diameter. Still if you have any problem I will help you you can message me.